business of professional wrestling. Johnson trying. He's trying to fry the arm of Samoa 
which we have never seen. He's just vicious right now. He's ruthless. Look at that expression. It tells all. Boy, does it ever tell all. Samoa Joe remains unbeaten in TNA. Joe. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Samoa Joe. Who's that? Hey, Big Man. Phenomenal AJ Styles. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to you. What? You think you're the X Division? Because it's not about weight limits. It's about no limits. It's also about a code. A code of respect that apparently doesn't apply to you. What you've done to Christopher Daniels was stepping over that line. You stepped over the line with the X Division and you stepped on each and every one of these fans that supported you since you got here to TNA. Hey! Don't turn your back on me! I'm giving you a rare opportunity. See, it's not often that the champion issues a challenge for a title match, but that's exactly what I'm doing. At turning point, your winning streak comes to an end, big man. Unbelievable, AJ has challenged Samoa Joe. I've not seen him do that, but he wants to put the respect back in the X Division. Can you imagine? The champion, he just challenged the challenger. Still to come, it's the Man Beast Rhino versus the Monster Abyss. Plus, Christian Cage speaks live in the Impact Zone. But up next, the NWA World Tag Team Champions, America's Most Wanted in Action. And welcome back, everyone. Universal Resorts, Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. Another great week of Impact Action. And hello once again, everyone, from Ringside Mike today, joined by Don West. Don, the date is set. It's December 11th. TNA returns to pay-per-view with Turning Point. And how about that blockbuster to kick things off tonight? Phenomenal AJ Styles to defend the X Division Championship against the challenge of the undefeated Samoa Joe. Wow. I think we've all seen that. We've all wanted that to happen. But think about this. We've seen how Abyss reacts to the barbed wire when Sabu has it. Well, on Turning Point, it's going to be a barbed wire massacre. There's not just going to be barbed wire around the six-sided ring. It's going to be all over the impact zone. Abyss is going to have to figure a way to deal with it, or it's going to be a night in hell. Don, in addition to that, we are awaiting word on just who Jeff Jarrett will face. We know the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship, it's going to be on the line. It's going to be at stake, at turning point. Now Speaking what? of which... Here he comes, the almost, king of the mountain. Almost as if on cue. We're talking about Jeff Jarrett. You hear the familiar entrance music. Hey, and here Professor. comes the heavyweight world heavyweight champion. Hey, know it all. You're supposed to know everything going on in TNA. Well, I want to know one thing, and I want to know it What's now. What's that? Who is my opponent at Turning Point? We don't know yet. We don't oh, know who I want your you to know. Is. You're supposed to be the professor. Shut up, West. And tell us. I don't want to hear you speak until spoken to. I'm telling you what. I talked to Larry Zabisco from the championship committee just before we came on the air tonight on Impact. And he told me that he was going to be in a conference call with TNA management. He's in his office. He's going to find out. He's going to determine who your challenger is at Where turning is point. Where is Zabisco I just told you he's Quit in his office. In your gums. Can I say it any clearer? He's in his office. He's at a conference call. I'm going call. to get my answer right now. Well, that'd be a good idea. Wow. Going to get his answer right now. He's on a mission. Man, alive. I mean, like, we're supposed to know everything that's going on. Wow. Jeff Jarrett and Gail Kim, they want an answer. The following contest for Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling is Tag Team Action. About to make their way to the ring. They are the current NWA World Tag Team Champions. The team of Wildcat Chris Harris and the Tennessee Cowboy James Storm. America's Most Wanted. Non-title action this week on Impact. Featuring AMW, the reigning NWA World Tag Team Champion. The Wildcat on the right, Chris Harris on the left, the Tennessee Cowboy James Storm. What a wild brawl they had. Look out!
back zone that wasn't affected by either Garrett, AMW, Rhino, or T3D. It was a brawl, and obviously you can see AMW right to start it off again that same way. I was just going to say that. Picking up exactly where we left off this past Sunday at Genesis. AMW on the attack here against Sonny Siaki and Apollo. Now the double team by Siaki and Apollo. I'll tell you what you got to look at right here is a chance for Apollo, I think, and Sonny Siaki to take advantage of AMW. After you go through a match like they did, the like of which they did, sometimes, I mean, you've got to have some sort of a letdown. And I'm expecting AMW to have one, and it looks that way. And Sonny Siaki just levels the Wildcat to his hair. Boy, if they turn this thing around, can the NWA World Tag Champ regroup? Can they regain the momentum? We'll find out when we return. Rated it. And welcome back, everyone, to the Impact Zone, to Impact on Spike TV. Several stories done right here in front of us as we see AMW in tag team action, non-title bout against Siaki and Apollo. I also received word during the commercial break that the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Jeff Jarrett is pitching a fit in the office area of Larry Zabisco from the championship committee. And I'm not surprised after we saw Jarrett out here at the broadcast table earlier. Well, I can understand Jared's frustration a little bit. I mean, you know you've got a title match at 24 on December 11th. You want to know who it is. And think about the people that are lining up. I mean, we just saw the Vicky Bue and Christian Cage. We know Bonnie Brown is fired up. I mean, you've got the one who are to fit the equation. You've got so many other people that want to be a part of that heavyweight title championship. I mean, everybody, he's got to know. Extension of the leg by Apollo allows him to put the boot right in the face of the Wildcat, Chris Harris. Harris tags the score. Apollo is listening to his partner, Sonny Siaki. Don, let's talk about Genesis this past Sunday. As Siaki turned the house to all the tag champs. You ever heard anything like the reaction of Christian Cage? Uh, I'll tell you something, this place, the roof blew off. And I'll tell you what amazed me about it. Everybody wonders, we see a pin and tip right here. Oh, just in time. By Cowboy James Storm. But I'll say this, everybody wondered where he was going to side, and it looked like he was going to side with Jarrett, Team Canada, and that whole group. But boy, did he surprise him in the end. And the great view we saw of Jarrett going through that table was on sight to see. America's most wanted. Storm and Harris still showing the battle scars from that incredible brawl with Brother Ray and Brother Devon. That baby was on the butt of the super kick from the bottom. The assist from Siaki. One, and two, he's got it. Oh, man. Wow, we tell you what, you have got to check your local listings. Go to TNAWrestling.com and find out with the replay. Oh, he busted a bottle right on his head. He came over the top, scored out a bottle lying in wait, and he busted it right on Apollo's head. Oh, boy, he sure did. Apollo never had a chance to see it coming through the shattered glass around ringside. He went for a slingshot move. Storm just cracked him right in the head with the bottle. He busted the bottle right on his head. That's Unbelievably dirty move right there by the Cowboy James Storm. AMW just turned his NWA World Tag Team Champion setting up. Could it be the death sentence? Oh, here it goes right here. And there's no way Siaki can avoid it. I'm sorry, but I bet he's done. No. The winners of the match, the NWA World Tag Team Champions, America's most Oh, man. A message loud and clear to Brother Ray 
some news for you. Good news for us. Very bad news for you. We just got done talking to Larry Zabisco. Oh, he's been busy. For the first time ever, at Turning Point, AMW, Team 3D. And guess what? It's not a wrestling match. You want to know what kind of match it is? Tell them! What? What? We're going to have ourselves a table match. Yes! It's about time. Let these four put the tables in the ring and let's see some action. And here, here's a little present for you. December 11th at Turning Point. Brother Ray, Brother Dave on Team 3D. That's right. Zabisco, you know Jared is demanding to find out who his challenger is at Jay turning Nichols, point. This is ridiculous. Zabisco, I'm losing my patience. I'm telling you, Jeff, I'm in the same boat as you. I'm not leaving until I get to the bottom of this. Shane, how long does it take for them to make a decision? He's been in there all night. I'm not leaving. I'll tell you what, Gail. Call him right now on the phone, on his cell phone. He's in there on a conference call. I want an answer tonight where I'll beat the damn door down and get my answer. Right. Jeff, I don't trust her. I just don't trust him at all. Yeah, I don't either. Zabisco! Still to come, the biggest jump in TNA history. Christian Cage speaks live in the Impact Zone. But up next, it's the Man Beast Rhino. One-on-one -on -one against the Monster Abyss. Brian James, I understand that you've asked for, and TNA management has granted you time on next week's show to discuss the future of three live crew. It's a huge announcement about the... There we go again. Shane Douglas knows about your speech about the three live crew's future. Why are we always the last to know about your ideas, man? No, 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 you're taking this all wrong. All I'm saying is this announcement is about change. Everything's got to change, gentlemen. Three Live Crew's got to change. If it doesn't, it becomes stagnant and it dies. Hey, 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 so what are you talking about? Have you been painting in an unventilated room? Maybe you need to go back to rehab. Oh, 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 oh come on, oh, now, that wasn't necessary. Oh, yes, That's too much. Necessary. Bro. You know what? You guys have taken this all wrong. This decision I have made is for the best of all of us. Now, I got a meeting to go to, and I got some people to talk to, but I can't believe the way you guys are mistrusting me. This is for the best of all of us. You guys, just please trust yo, yo, me. Yo, yo, yo. When do you decide what's best for all of us? Why don't you tell us what's on and popping right now? This ain't ratings week. This ain't sweeps week. We don't need no cliffhangers. Let us know what's on and popping now. Everything is not secure yet. It has to be next week, but I promise you, you have to trust me. Now, I got to go talk to somebody. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll trust you, and you trust me, too. I got some people to holler at, too. You know, what I'm you know what? I'm in the middle of I don't know what got started, but I sure as hell like to know when it's going to stop. True. Now, you're going to change it.
great timing for a fist like there as he hit Rhino charging in at full speed. And that fit caught him right there on the chin. And that put Rhino down. A fist speed move is still staggering, but at the same time, driving those big right hands into the top of the head of Rhino. Rhino puts on the lead. right there by Rhino, but I'll tell you what, think about how strong you got to be to be able to pick somebody up like that and then use the spine buster on him. I mean, it just takes up. As you see right here, we heard about Team Green A pulling the table in. Tables earlier this week on Impact in the tables match with America's Most Wanted upcoming at Turning Point December 11. Maybe get a little preview here involving Rhino and Abyss because the man beast He's brought a table into play. I'll tell you what, Rhino has come out here tonight. He just, he's out here on a mission. He's on a goal. I mean, if you want to see, you want to impress people, obviously Rhino's doing it. He is wanting to put a fist through this table. Right, Rhino, he's on a mission in the ring. Jeff Jarrett, he's on a mission near the office of Larry Zabisco trying to find out about the status of his world's title defense. December 11th at Turning Point, into the corner goes Rhino. Oh, man! Contact, impact. What a force. Perfect. How often do you see the man beast just crumble like that to the canvas? I'll tell you what, that's 350 pounds. It's very, very few times you'll look at Rhino and see him smaller than that opponent, but definite size advantage to the Monster Abyss. Elbows to the side of the head. Rocks Abyss. Wow, that's, that's a straight belly to belly suplex. Pointed him in the middle of the ring. I'll tell you something, man. Rhino. His, his level of positive. Oh, look at that. It, it could be time. He he's he's measuring him for the gore. Abyss up. Oh, he gets out of the way just in time. And Rhino crumpled under the weight of the table. Man, what a shot he took. Wow, he just crashed right into the wood. Split it right in half. In one, two. Oh, he was coming to get down with it. Oh, I thought he was done. It shows you the strength of the former champion right there. Slowly back to his feet. The man beast. A fist grabs him at the head of the hair. He's gonna try and pick him up towards the right position. This is the shot. The lights! Lights out! Could it be? Lights out of the impact zone. You know what that means? The crowd knows! And there he is! The chin is in his hand! Steel chair wrapped in barbed wire! I'm showing it to him! Oh, and he's oh. an abyss again! Oh. Freaking out! talking about no deal let me tell you what the real deal is right, look at december 11th turning point you must defend the belt against the man beast rhino that's the way it is so that's how it is huh that's how it is you've been on the phone all afternoon and all night to tell me that i've got to face rhino in the rubber match that's what it is. It's oh, a rubber match. One for you, one for yeah, you. I guess you're exercising the rematch calls. Well, what about Raven? He never got his rematch. He's won it one for five months. I thought you hate Raven. I do hate Raven, but fair is fair. Oh, Monty Brown. He never, ever to this day, and it's because of you it's coming out. He had never got his shot. I thought you hate Monty Brown. The best go stay out of my personal life. Fair is fair. But you know what? I can see the writing on the wall. I see it crystal clear. I'm going to have to beat Rhino, and then they're probably going to slide Christian in the back door, and he's going to get a title shot. You know what, Zabisco? I know one thing for sure. You're not running this place. TNA management is, and I'm sick of it. Zabisco, you're on thin ice. Very thin ice. Coming up next, don't go anywhere. Christian.
Agent K sneaks live in the Impact Zone. It's next on Spike TV. Welcome back, everyone, to Impact, and we are awaiting the arrival in the Impact Zone, the Spike TV debut of Christian Cage, and here he comes! Genesis. And in case you were living under a rock somewhere and missed the pay per view, allow me to retort. I said I didn't come to TNA because I got fired. I didn't come to TNA because I had nowhere else to go. I came to TNA because this is the place to be. to TNA to get the damn respect that I deserve. And I came to TNA to take the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. And if any of the boys in the locker room have a problem with that, <laughs> I don't really care <laughs> because that's how I roll wait a minute here's somebody that's got a problem with it I'll guarantee you that the alpha male Monty Brown oh you're right he does have a problem with it you can hit the brakes on that garbage. On that garbage? Oh, you know that him coming I don't know if you recognize this or not, but you are no longer up north rolling. <laughs> Dorothy, you are not up north anymore. <laughs> Christian Cage. Welcome to the Serengeti! The quantity of speech is not always indicative of the quality of thought. I know you're puzzled. And I know that's a little much for your pea brain to assimilate. So let me change the vernacular. I hear you out here running your mouth a lot. But you haven't said anything and you haven't proven anything. And then, and then I hear you tell Jeff Jarrett what he should and what he should not wear after Labor Day. It's a fashion tip at Genesis. Let me clue you in, smart guy. That atrocity you call a shirt? And those Bob the Builder boots you're wearing should not be 
been worn ever. But I digress. I digress. You want to talk about rolling? The alpha male has rolled over everyone you put in his path. I have destroyed and dismantled everything that has stepped on the Serengeti. I'll tell you idiots what if you keep your mouths closed. So you want to talk about rolling? I roll over everybody. You want to talk about leapfrogging your way to the title? The only way you'll leapfrog over the alpha male is for me to lay down first and the alpha male lays down for no man. So like everyone else that has stepped on the Serengeti, I'll take Tristan Cage and make him feel dumb. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on one second here. Didn't even let him say pals. Let alone period. You said your piece, big man. I know your deal. I know you like to hurl your big body across the ring and pounce on men. One way of putting it. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Whatever you do in your spare time, I'm not here to judge. That's your deal. A former NFL linebacker you're talking to. 6'2", 267, two Super Bowls. It sounds to me, Monty, like you're a little afraid of losing your spot. Let me tell you something. You damn sure should be. Whoa. And unless you're planning on nutting up, I suggest you go find yourself somebody else to pow! <laughs> Period. Wow. Nobody's ever talked to me. Never. ever. Ow! Oh, oh, he does it. Look at these shots from the alpha male. Now putting the boots on Christian Page. You can only take so much. Marty Brown's had to watch him come in. Oh, look at this! Oh, 